Welcome everyone, we're here at the Optum Care Community Centers. It's Ben Brock here today with Randy. Randy, you're gonna take us through some brain exercises pr provided to us by the Brain Savers Group, is that correct? That's correct, Ben. It's called Balance Your Brain Muscles. Our focus will be on listening, creativity, and imagination. Everyone will need something to write with and some paper. So I'll give you a moment to grab those and then I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna go grab my pen and piece of paper. All right, so if you're ready, everybody just sit back and listen to this short story. One day, a little girl named Eleanor went to a park to play with her grandfather. Eleanor was four years old. Eleanor went to preschool at Kitty Academy in Prescott, Arizona. Her favorite animal is a dog. Her grandfather is contemplating a canine gift for Eleanor for her birthday, which is September 14th. So now I want you to sit back, close your eyes, and listen to the same story. One day, a little girl named Eleanor went to the park to play with her grandfather. Eleanor was four years old. Eleanor went to preschool at Kitty Academy in Prescott, Arizona. Her favorite animal is a dog. Her grandfather is contemplating a canine gift for Eleanor for her birthday, which is September 14th. So now open your eyes and number it on your paper from one to seven. I'm gonna ask you a series of, of questions and let's see how well you do. Number one, what was the name of the girl in the story? So write that down on your paper. Number two, how old was she? Number three, where did her grandfather take her? Number four, where did she live? Number five, what preschool did she attend? Number six, what was her grandfather considering buying her for her birthday? And number seven, when is her birthday? So now, draw a picture of the two main characters on your paper. Don't worry about artistic value. It can be stick figures as well, all right? But what did that story tell you about those two characters and maybe where they went? I'll give you a few moments to draw that picture. All right, now let's go back to the questions and see how well you did. Number one, what was the name of the girl in the story? Eleanor. Number two, how old was she? Four. Number three, where did her grandfather take her? To the park. Number four, where did she live? In Prescott, Arizona. Number five, what preschool did she attend? Kitty Academy. Number six, what was her grandfather considering buying her for her birthday? A canine gift. And number seven, when is her birthday? September 14th. So how'd you do? 100%, maybe 80%, it doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong. It's just an exercise. Again, creativity, imagination, and listening. So, Let's have another round. Number two, again, number your paper from one to six. And again, first time through, you're gonna have your eyes open and let's see how well you do. So again, you're trying to get as much detail as possible as I read. Each morning in this windy city, you can hear birds singing, 
people talking and traffic increasing as early as five o'clock in the morning. I often find it difficult to return to my slumber after hearing the energetic sounds of life from below my apartment window. It is as if each sound was calling my name and beckoning me to come and play. So again, now close your eyes, sit back, and listen to the same story. Each morning in this windy city, you can hear birds singing, people talking, and traffic increasing as early as five o'clock in the morning. I often find it difficult to return to my slumber after hearing the energetic sounds of life from below my apartment window. It is as if each sound was calling my name and beckoning me to come out and play. So opening your eyes, let's go to number one. What city do you think that this was written about? Number two, how early, meaning what time of day did the sounds start? Number three, what were a few of the sounds that could be heard? Number four, do you think the author was disturbed by the noise? Number five, what was the attitude or tone from the author? And number six, what were the morning sounds saying to the author? This time, I want you to, on your paper, draw a picture of some of the sounds that, you heard, that the author heard. Take a few moments. Again, drawing a few of the sounds that they heard. All right, let's go back to our questions. Number one, what city do you think this was written about? Maybe Chicago, the windy city? Number two, how early, what time of day did the sound start? Five o'clock a.m. Number three, what were a few of the sounds that could be heard? Birds singing, people talking, the traffic outside, Number four, do you, think the, do you think the author was disturbed by the noise? No, I don't think so. Number five, what was the attitude or tone of the author? My imagination, it meant excitement. And number six, what were the morning sounds saying to the author? Come out and play, start your day. So again, there's no right or wrong answer on this. We were doing a listening exercises and using our own creativity and imagination. So take time during your day. Stop to listen. Be creative and use your imagination. Serve it well in your day and thank you for joining me today.